This morning, there are more people with less faith in vaccines. Recent Gallup polls show even before the pandemic, many Americans avoided vaccines for themselves and their kids. 25 News reporter Aaron Heff joins us live from McLennan County's Health District after meeting with several people in our communities who feel that way. Good morning, Aaron. Good morning, team. Concerns surrounding vaccines, including the coronavirus vaccine, seem to be gaining traction. Actually, of all Americans, 16% say they're losing faith in vaccinations. I used to vaccinate. Like many, Christy Allison would get yearly vaccinations. But it's gone so far in one direction that it's like healthcare has lost that confidence in your body. We also spoke with Liz Neal, who still gets vaccines for her family. My children have received some vaccines. But not as many as are recommended, saying she weighs the pros and cons herself. I've been researching vaccines since I got pregnant with my oldest child, so almost a decade. Which risk am I more comfortable taking as a parent with the health of my children? While doctors explain vaccines are still one of the greatest advantages of modern medicine after clean water. Vaccination. Um, fairly clear evidence that it makes a difference in terms of um, the exposure and the risk associated with communicable infectious disease. Explaining modern life expectancy has risen and child deaths have fallen exponentially since the creation of modern vaccines. And as such, uh, you know, the, the vaccines are a bunch better, uh, a lot better tolerated. They, they tend to cause fewer side effects and they still provide the same we call immunogenicity, meaning that they're actually providing some protection against the disease you're trying to, to, to vaccinate against. Gallup polls finding prior to the pandemic, the rise in people skeptical of vaccines growing to 16 percent. But vaccine believer or not, if you want the coronavirus vaccine, you might be waiting a while. The CDC says people 74 years and older and frontline workers will be the next to receive the vaccine, though at this moment, health experts are looking into what they're calling a more contagious strain, a mutated strain of the coronavirus, and that's in Great Britain and South Africa. Reporting live in Waco, Erin Heft, 25 News. Erin, thank you. And as she mentioned, health officials say vaccines have played a huge role in the modern world, helping to all but eradicate certain diseases. According to the CDC, vaccination helped eliminate polio within, within the United States. That virus spreads from person to person and can invade an infected person's brain and spinal cord, causing paralysis. The CDC says vaccines have also helped reduce the number of cases of illnesses like diphtheria and HIV. Diphtheria can cause a thick covering in the back of the nose or throat, which makes it hard to breathe or swallow and can lead to heart failure, paralysis and even death. HIV, meanwhile, can do serious damage to a child's immune system and can cause brain damage, hearing loss and death as well. Before the vaccine, more than 20,000 kids were infected each year. That illness isn't as well known now thanks to the vaccines.